In this video, I'm going to show the feature model to model allocations that was introduced in 2020B. Model to model allocations is all about linking architectures together. In systems engineering, a project usually starts with stakeholder needs. Those stakeholder needs are then uh, distilled down into functional requirements. Those requirements can then be allocated onto the different functions which are described in a functional architecture. Those functional requirements can then be further distilled down into system level requirements. And those requirements can be allocated to elements in your logical architecture, which is describing uh, the components that are in your system. Last but not least, those system requirements can then be further uh, derived down into hardware requirements. And those hardware requirements are then you know, allocated and uh, placed onto your physical architecture elements. So let's dive into the different architectures. So I'm gonna start with the functional architecture, which is to describe the functions of the system, right? So for this tire pressure system, I'm gonna measure the tire pressure, see if that pressure is too low, and then report on those levels of the pressure. Then I'll create an architecture, right, for my logical piece of the system or perspective, in which case I'll describe uh, the different components that I'm gonna have. So for example, in this system, I have a reporting system component that's going to implement those reporting functionalities. And then I'll have four components which are referencing the same underlying model, which are going to have the sensors that I'm gonna read from, and then the controller that I'm gonna take those sensor readings to and figure out whether the pressure is too low uh, or what, it, uh, what the pressure is calibrated. Lastly, I'll create a physical architecture. In my uh, physical or platform architecture, I'll describe the sensors uh, that I'll have. So here I'm just kind of describing uh, the housings for each of the four sensors. Then additionally, I'll describe two ECUs that I'm gonna have in my system, a front ECU and a rear ECU. In those ECUs, I've gone ahead and described a few different cores uh, so that I can allocate uh, my software to those cores. So now that we've created our three different architectures, now it's time to link them together using the allocation editor. In the allocation editor, I can define an allocation set between are uh, two of the models. So to start with, I'll create just an allocation set between the functional and the logical architecture. I've actually gone ahead already and populated some allocations already uh, to describe how I want to link the functions to my logical components. So along the rows, you'll see all the components, ports, and connectors that belong to that source model, which is the functional architecture. And along the columns, you'll see all the components, ports, and connectors that belong to the target model, which in this case is the logical architecture. <clears throat> Along the top, you'll be able to see that you can actually filter down this matrix because you know, as these models become quite large, it's hard to work with. So you can filter based on you know, if it's allocated or not, uh, the component type, you know, whether it's a connector, whether it's a port, and to scale it down. So now once I've scaled it down into a, uh, a workable size, I can now inspect all the allocations that I've uh, specified between these two models. So here I've gone ahead and I've allocated uh, the report low tire pressure function onto the TPMS reporting system to indicate that this function is going to be implemented by this logical component. While the allocation itself doesn't necessarily imply that this is how it's implemented, it just gives you that traceability link between the two models. So with those allocation links established, I can now start to reason about uh, the models together using the power of MATLAB. So for example, I can run coverage analysis or resource-based analysis. So here I'm just showing a quick example of a coverage-based analysis where I am just checking to see if all the functions from my functional architecture have been allocated to at least one element in my logical architecture. So if I run this script, I find that all my functions are allocated and my job here is done. And that concludes all the content in the video today. Thank you for taking the time to watch.